Let's take a look at the probability tables questions. So question number one, for a pupil chosen at random, what is the probability it is a boy that prefers dogs? So first of all, we need to th think, well, how many pupils are there in total? Well, there are seven plus three, 10 plus four plus six, 10. So in total, there are 20. So out of the 20, how many are boys that prefer dogs? Well, that is seven out of 20. What is the probability that it's a girl that prefers dogs? Well, that is three out of 20. And we've got to be careful with C. So we're choosing from the girls. Now in total, there are nine girls. So of the nine, how many of these nine prefer cats? Well, that is six out of nine. And that can be simplified to two thirds. Given that a chosen pupil prefers cats, so how many prefer cats? That is 10 that prefer cats. And of the 10, how many are girls? That's six out of 10, which is the same as three out of five. Question number two, two fair die are thrown at the same time and the results are multiplied. So first of all, we're gonna populate this uh, probability table here. So one times one is one, two ones are two, three ones are three. So this is just the, the one times table. One twos two, two twos are four. So this is the two times table, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. This is the three times table, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. This is the four times table, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, done. What is the probability that the result is a square number? So the square numbers, one, one times one, which is one, two twos, which are four, three threes, which are nine, four fours, which are 16, five fives, which are 25, and six sixes, which are 36. So we can clearly see that down this diagonal here, we've got the square numbers because that's one times one, two times two. But we've got to be careful because that we do see four in other places here and here as well. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is a total of eight out of 36, and that can be simplified to two ninths, but eight out of 36 is fine. What is the probability that the result is greater than 11? So the ones that are greater than 11 are contained here, but less than 17. So less than 17 are these ones in here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of the 36. And what's the probability of the result being odd? Well, let's just go around. Uh, you'd think it might well just be 50%, but there's no guarantee um, given that we're doing a lot of multiplying here. So how many odd numbers are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that is nine out of 36, and that can be simplified to one quarter. Question number three, we need to populate the table by adding the scores together. One plus one is two, two plus one is three, four, five, six, seven, two plus one is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So what's the probability of the total being five? Well, we've got these four here. Uh, in total, there are six times five. There are 30 numbers in total. You can count them individually if you want. So that's gonna be four out of 30, which can be simplified if you want to two fifteenths. Um, for C, what's the probability of the total being greater than seven, but less than 10? Or well, that is these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers here. So that's seven out of 30. What's the probability of getting an even total? So uh, the evens is the two, the fours, these sixes here, the eights, and the two tens. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 at 30, which is one half, which makes sense. And um, E, the probability that the, the spinner shows a number that is greater than the die. Right, well, what we're gonna do here is on this diagonal, we know that the spinner 
and the die have the same number, one, one, two, two, three, three. So we need to just think, well, these are the numbers on this side where the spinners are two, the dies are one. So these are the numbers, I know the diagram's getting a bit messy here, but these are the numbers in this section here where the spinner number is greater than the die number. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's 10 out of 30, and that can be simplified to one third. Question number four, first of all, we're just gonna populate by just adding the rows and adding the columns. So here, 40 plus 23, you can use a calculator if you want, that's 63, 31, 37, 57. The rows come to a total of 69, 119. And this number here should be both uh, the 69 plus 119 and 63 plus 31 plus 37 plus 57. If, it, if, then, if that's not the same number, then there's a mistake. So 188 is 69 plus 119, and I'll just double check that 63 plus 31 plus 37 plus 57 is 188, um, and it is. So for a passenger chosen at random, so out of the 188, what is the probability that they're vegetarian and in economy? So vegetarian and economy is 36. So that's 36 out of 188. You can simplify that, but I believe this answer is acceptable. Um, for C, for a passenger chosen at random, so that's out of the 188, what's the probability that they do not have a standard meal? So we're not interested in um, the standard meal, and but they are in business class. So not standard, but they are in business. So that's 10 plus 15 plus 21, and that is 46 out of 188. D, we're choosing from the kosher uh, passengers. So that's out of the 37. What's the probability that they're in business? Well, that's 15 out of the 37. And for this last question, we're choosing from the economy passengers. So that is out of the total of 119. The probability that they're having a halal meal is 21 out of 19. For question number five, the first thing we need to do is to populate the table. Most important thing to remember is that these numbers here are the total of these rows. These numbers here are the total of these columns and 310 is the sum of the married and not married total and also the sum of the age group totals. So this number here is 310 minus 173, which is 137. This missing number here is 67 plus 19, which is 86. This missing number here is 55 take away 23, which is 22. Um, on this category here, I can work out this number here first. It's gonna be the total 310 minus these three figures. 310 minus 86 minus 55 minus 94 is 75. So this figure in this box here is 75 minus 45, which is 30. And this number here is 94 minus 56 which is 38. So 5B for a respondent chosen at random. So we know that there are a total of 310 respondents. What's the probability that they are married? Well, the married is the 173. So 173 300 out of 310. For a respondent chosen at random. So again, we are out looking at the whole, which is the whole 310. What is the probability that they are under 50? So these guys and these guys here are under um, are under 50 and 94 plus 75 is 169. So 169 out of 310. D, given that, be careful when, you, when it says given that, that means we're looking at a subset here. We're looking at the 65 plus only. So out of the 86, what is the probability that they're not married? Well, the not married is the 19 out of those 86. Given that respondent is married, so we're looking at the married bunch, which is out of the 173, what is the probability that they are not under 29? Um, so we need to get rid of the ones that are under 29 and just simply add up the 45, the 23, and the 67, and that comes to 135 out of 173. F, we know that in the UK there's 54 million adults, so we want an estimate for the number of married people 
in the 18 to 29 category. So let's look at this. Married 18 to 29 is 38 out of 310. So what all we need to do is work out, well, what is 38 310ths of our total of 54 million, which is 54 with six zero. So here we're dealing with a fraction of an amount. So we take our total, we divide it by 310, and then we multiply it by 38. And that comes to a total of 6619354.839. Surely we are being asked to round this three significant figures. So therefore we need to look at the value of the fourth figure. The rest are irrelevant. This is greater than five. So the column to the left is going to move up one. So that's going to become six, six, two, zero, 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 zero. So the answer is six million six hundred and twenty thousand.